Um, thankfully, the All Ireland economy has developed very strongly since the signing of the Good Friday Agree Agreement in April 1998. Businesses have developed on a cross border basis. Trade has strengthened north, south, and east, west, and enterprises have developed on an All Ireland basis as well. I think it's very, it's very important that in planning for further expansion of the All Ireland economy, that we have to be mindful of the areas, both north and south, that have not developed to the extent that, that the East Coast has, and particularly the Dublin Belfast corridor. I'm speaking in particular of my own two counties of Cavan and Monaghan, and our neighbouring, and our neighbouring counties of Fermanagh, Tyrone, and Armagh. Those particular counties are very strong in farming and agri-food, in engineering and construction products. And thankfully, we have a growing tourism business as well. Now, there is a lot of ill-informed commentary about research and planning for this country in whatever governance parameters is decided in the future. I think very valuable work has been undertaken with the Shared Island Unit, with the ESRI, by, by NESC, and some of our universities and institutes of technology as well. And that's very important that in planning for the future that is done on the basis of qualitative and quantitative research. W one particular project that I would like to see the National Economic and Social Council undertake, Taoiseach, is to do a particular study on the challenges that face the central Please border region, a region that, that has it. not major urban centres or a third Devon institute. So I think it's, partic it's particularly Remember. important that we plan for the areas Remember. that are not as developed as the, as the major urban areas. Please, Thank you, in, we'll we'll go over time. Um, Deputy Smith mentioned the all-island economy, and as is often the case in the House, draw, drew my particular attention to the central border region, uh, and I think he's absolutely right when we talk about the all-island economy. We can't just talk about the Dublin-Belfast corridor or um, the northwest Derry Donegal. Uh, we have to take account of the central border region too, um, which has huge potential, I think, around tourism, around agriculture and food production, the IDA property programme is very successful too in uh, constructing advanced factories and advanced buildings which um, investors can then um, invest in and create uh, um, well-paid jobs. Uh, we also have the technology universities too uh, and we need to improve infrastructure um, including the roads. Um, one thing I think that can be transformative for the region is the national broadband plan. Uh, saw some statistics at Cabinet there during the week. Uh, 200,000 homes, farms and businesses are now passed, uh, of whom 60,000 have taken up the service, which is ahead of expectations. Um, we now know that we'll have 300,000 passed by the end of next year, uh, all primary schools covered um, by the end of this year, uh, the islands being connected at the moment, uh, and it's expected now to come in um, on schedule and probably under budget um, with the 2027 uh, revised date. And uh, I'm really glad that those who oppose that um, pro project have, have, I think, been proven wrong uh, in their opposition to it. Um